A source of energy is one which can provide adequate amount of energy in a convenient form over a long period of time. The sun has been the biggest source of light and heat energy for the last 5 billion years. We use heat energy obtained by burning fuels like wood, coal, kerosene or LPG for cooking our food. The energy of fuel like petrol and diesel is used to run cars, buses, pump sets for irrigation in agriculture. Electrical energy is used for lightning bulbs and tubes and factory machines. If there is no energy, we won't be able to run car, truck, trains and different types of vehicle. Source of energy. Energy is a gift of nature that makes things happen for us. We all are familiar with the term energy. Definition. Energy is defined as the capacity of a body or of an object to do work. The SI unit of energy is joule. The other most common unit of energy is calorie. Uses of energy. Energy is used for cooking food. Energy is used to light our houses. Energy is needed for plants to grow. Energy helps our vehicle to move on the road. Energy helps for conversion of water into ice. Energy is needed to bake a cake or pizza in the oven. Types of source of energy. Number 1. Renewable sources of energy. Number 2. Non-renewable sources of energy. Renewable source of energy. Those renewable sources of energy which are being produced continuously in nature are called renewable sources of energy. They are also called the non-conventional sources of energy. These sources of energy can be used again and again. A yet another name for renewable sources of energy is alternative source of energy. For example, wood, solar cell, windmill and hydroelectricity dam. Non-renewable sources of energy Those sources of energy which have accumulated in nature over a very very long time and cannot be quickly replaced when exhausted are called non-renewable sources of energy. Coal has been accumulated in earth over a very very long time and if all the coal gets exhausted it cannot be produced quickly in the nature. Non-renewable sources of energy are dug out from the earth for example coal, petroleum, natural gas, thermal power plant. Energy transformation During each action energy transforms itself from one form to the another. The change of energy from its one form to the other is called energy transformation. All energy transformation begin from the sun. A plant uses light and heat energy of the sun for its growth and to reproduce food for us in the form of fruits and vegetables. During the food making process by the plants, sun's light and heat energy is converted into chemical energy stored in the fruits and vegetables. When we eat this food during digestion, chemical energy of food is transferred to our body in the form of heat and mechanical potential energy. We use this energy to keep our body warm and to do mechanical work. Examples of transformation of energy Conversion of heat energy to the light energy Some of the examples are bulb, candle and the ultimate source of energy, the sun. Heat energy to mechanical energy Railway, steam or heat engines Wind energy to mechanical energy. Wind energy is used by windmill and sailing of ship. Electrical energy to heat energy. Some of the examples are geyser, iron and heater. Mechanical energy to sound energy. Some of the examples are guitar, tabla and sitar. Good sources of energy. Energy is needed to do any work. Different source of energy is needed to do different types of work to be done. Characteristics of a good fuel, which would do a large amount of work per unit mass, which is cheap and easily available, which is easy to store and transport, which is safe to handle, which does not cause environmental pollution. Fuel. The material which are burned to produce heat energy are known as fuel. A fuel has to burn to obtain heat. 
for example wood coal cooking gas kerosene diesel and petrol calorific value of a fuel the amount of energy provided by a fuel per unit of mass of the fuel is called calorific value of the fuel when a given mass of a fuel is burnt it gives out energy in different forms such as heat and light calorific value measures the amount of heat produced when 1 kg of a fuel burns its si unit is joule per kilogram some of the example are cow dung wood lpg and kerosene electricity generation the electricity generation is by rotating the coil of an alternator or a dynamo in a magnetic field in different power stations different forms of energy are used to rotate the coil of a dynamo to produce electricity some of the power stations are thermal power station hydroelectric power station and nuclear power stations photoelectric effect there are certain materials which produce free electrons when light falls on them These free electrons can be made to flow through conducting wires to generate electric current. Photovoltaic cell. It works on the phenomena of photoelectric effect. According to this phenomena, there are certain materials which produce free electrons when light falls on them. These free electrons can be made to flow through conducting wires to generate electric energy. Solar cell is made up of two thin sheets. The energy from the sun is absorbed by silicon which produces electricity. Solar cooker. Solar cooker is a device used to cook food without using any cooking gas, kerosene, electricity, coal or wood. It uses the freely available solar energy for cooking food. Construction and working of solar cooker. Mostly solar cooker come in a box shape. There are six main parts in a solar cooker. Outer box. The outer box of a solar cooker is generally made up of aluminium. It provides stability and durability to the solar cooker. The base of the outer box is fitted with small wooden rotating wheels for easy movements of the solar cooker from one place to another. Inner cooking tray. Inside the outer box there is an inner cooking tray made up of aluminium sheets. The tray painted black so that it absorbs most of the solar radiation falling on it. The tray also plays an important role of transferring heat to the cooking containers. Double glass lid. The double glass lid is kept over the inner tray. The two glass sheets of the lid have a gap of about 2 cm between them and are fixed in an aluminum frame. The air trapped between the glass plates act as an insulator and prevent the heat inside the solar cooker from escaping. Usually, a rubber strip is pasted around the frame to prevent heat leakage. Thermal insulators. For proper functioning of a solar cooker, it is very important that heat loss from within the cooker is prevented. For this, good thermal insulating material like glass wool is used to fill the space between the outer box and the tray. Mirror. The mirror is fixed on the inside of the cover of the solar cooker. The mirror reflects the solar radiation into the cooking tray through the double glass lid. These extra reflected rays along with the direct solar radiation help in raising the inside temperature of the solar cooker. Cooking containers. The food containers kept inside the solar cooker for cooking food are usually made up of aluminum or steel and are painted black on the outside to absorb solar radiation. The body of the solar cooker is made up of aluminum because it is good conductor of heat and is a lightweighted material. The inner walls of the box and the outer surface of the containers are painted black because black color is a better absorber of heat than any other color. Thermal insulators For proper functioning of a solar cooker, it is very important that heat loss from within the cooker is prevented. For this, good thermal insulating material like glass wool is used to fill the space between the outer box and the tray. Mirror. The mirror is fixed on the inside of the cover of the solar cooker. The mirror reflects the solar radiation into the cooking tray through the double glass lid. These extra reflected rays along with the direct solar radiation help in raising the inside temperature of the solar cooker. Cooking containers. The food containers kept inside the solar cooker for cooking food 
are usually made up of aluminium or steel and are painted black on the outside to absorb solar radiation. Thermal Power Plant Thermal power stations generate electricity by using fossil fuels, mainly coal. In the thermal power station, one of the fossil fuels is burned to produce heat energy for boiling water to produce steam. The steam dust generator is used to rotate the turbine. The rotation of turbine produces rotation in the dynamo to produce electricity. The electricity thus generated is transmitted through electric wires to the electric substations for distribution. Usually thermal power stations are situated near the coal mines or coal fields or oil fields. This reduces the cost of transporting the coal from mines to the power station. In addition to this, transmission of electricity through electric wires is much cheaper. Gober Gas A biogas plant consists of well-shaped underground tank called digester tank and doomed roof. The digester is a sealed tank with no air. The dome acts as the gas holder in the tank and a valve connected to the pipe. The one side of the tank is sloppy inlet for introducing fresh dung slurry into the main digester and the other side of the rectangular outlet for taking out the spent dung slurry after the extraction of biogas and the connection is between outlet and the overflow of tank. It takes about 50 to 60 days for a new gas plant to become operative. So, when the cow dung undergoes degradation by anaerobic bacteria in the presence of water with the gradual evolution of biogas, the decomposition process generates gases like methane, which is 75% carbon dioxide, hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide. This biogas starts collecting in the dome. When more and more biogas collects in the dome, it exerts pressure on the slurry and forces the spent slurry to go into the overflow tank through the outlet chamber. From the overflow tank, the slurry is removed. Advantages Number 1. Biogas burns without smoke and hence does not cause air pollution. Number 2. Biogas has a high calorific value. Number 3. Biogas burns completely without leaving behind any residue, so it is a clean fuel. Number 4. Biogas is cheaper than most common fuel. Number 5. Biogas is also used for lightning. Number 6. Biogas is used as a fuel to run engines. And number 7. Biogas is used for generating electricity. Wind Energy Wind is simply air in motion. Wind flows because of uneven heating of Earth's surface by the radiation from the Sun. In scientific terms, wind energy is the kinetic energy associated with the movement of atmospheric air. Windmills Electric power generating stations that use wind energy are called wind farms. The windmill is used to generate electricity is called a wind turbine and the complete setup of generating electricity is called wind generator. When a fast moving air strikes with the blade of the turbine then the wind turbine starts rotating continuously. The shaft of wind turbine is connected to a small generator. When the wind turbine rotates, its shaft also rotates and drives the generator. The generator produces electricity. In order to generate electricity for large area, more wind turbines are needed. Advantages Number 1. It does not cause pollution. Number 2. It is renewable source of energy. And number 3. As the sun keeps shining, the wind will always keep blowing and provide us energy.